Praise the Lord. God bless all of you. So I'm in Dubai. And I'm just trying to get ready to go to the store. I'm actually waiting for the ride that will take us to the store to shop. Today I want to shop. How are you guys? I know some of you have not seen me with my short hair before. <laughs> God bless all of you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yay. Uh huh. How great thou art. Then sing my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sing my soul, my Savior God to Agree. God bless all of you. Yes, Lord. How great thou art. How great, great thou art. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm in Dubai. Tomorrow is a program. It starts tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And tomorrow is Monday. Today is what's today here? Today is Sunday, right? My God, I don't even know time. On let me see. Today is Sunday, February twenty fourth, ten twelve a.m. It's ten twelve a.m. in Dubai right now. Somebody's saying, Michael looks like me. Ah, uh, don't mind me. You see my hair? I put some chemical in it. You see all the gray hair, and all. Just you know, just trying to. This is how my hair is normally when I'm not wearing the wigs. I said today, let me show you guys the hair. So I'm in Dubai. I'm supposed to be going out to shop right now with Bishop, but we're waiting for the guy that's coming to pick us to the store. We'll also go to the mall. So while I'm waiting, I said, let me just talk to you guys a little bit. Bishop was online earlier, and I shared the video on my wall. You guys saw it, right? So tomorrow we have, um, we have, um, we're going to have a long day. It's 12 hours program. If you live here or around here, make sure you don't miss it. Let me see if I have the address for you guys. I know a lot of you have the flyer, but some of you still don't know. Let's see. You don't miss it. Oh Lord, I'm trying to get the flyer. How do you, how do you get fly on Facebook? Sorry guys. Okay, it's at Pearl City Suite, 8th Street Port Said District, near Diara City Center. Diara PO Box 83163, Dubai, UAE. And it's from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Monday, 25th of February, 2019. And Tuesday and Wednesday at the same time. So it's going to be 12 hours. I know some of you on here, or some of you will live here. You've never done 12 hours before. But it's going to be it's going to be 12 hours. And this time I came with my bishop, so you'll get some, some corrosive anointing too. <laughs> Someone said she needs... Uh, a light a, a beautiful dress in Dubai. We'll see now. I'm actually going to but let me tell you guys what happened. Eh? So yesterday our flight was delayed when I was coming from from Houston. And it was delayed because of me for almost 30 minutes or one hour. <laughs> you know how when you're about to enter the flight they have this custom guys or security officers with their dog and then they're asking you questions and they ask me, they say, how much do I have with me? Is it over 10,000? I say, yeah. They say, really? Okay, come to this side. I said, okay, because normally I don't travel with less than that, but because I wanted to buy a lot of dresses, because these dresses that I give you guys to, they sell them here in Dubai, so 
I wanted to buy a lot. I buy in hundreds and I give away for free, right? Plus my own little dresses that I wear. Even the dresses that I wear, I still give them. So most of the dresses I give away. So I was not like, yes, um, I have over 10,000 because I want to shop. They said, what do you do? I say, I'm a, I'm a preacher. I'm an evangelist. They say, is this your full time? I say, yeah. They say, okay, come to that site, ma'am. So they had all this paperwork. Because I didn't want to use my card. Because most times when I travel and I use my card, my bank will block it. Sometimes it's embarrassing. You know, you want to buy something and they'll think it's fraud or somebody's trying to steal your card. And you buy all this and they'll block it and you have to call. And me, I don't know how to call these people from outside the country. So I brought money with me so that I will buy what I need. They filled out the paperwork. They started counting all my money. <laughs> they were counting my money in my purse. You understand? Let me lower this song a little bit. They were counting my money in my purse. Don't be smart, you know. They count, 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 count. They say, so you mean, um, is this like money from ministry? I say, yeah. They say, so you're going to use church money to shop? I say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said, what is your driver's license number? I gave them. Give us your passport. I gave them. What is your social security number? I gave them. They say, um, well, um, they were just doing, they carried my purse. They checked through my purse. I said, you can find me on Facebook. I preach every day. Maybe you can watch too. You never know. You might like the video. <laughs> they say, so you just travel. I say, Yeah. <laughs> I guess they haven't really seen any preacher that, that, I don't know, maybe they see broke preachers or something. I was like, whatever. They say, so you mean you make all this money from ministry? I say, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got it. I say, yeah. Yeah. And what are you shopping? I say, dresses like the one I'm wearing and more because I usually give a lot of dresses. They say, really? And you wanted to do it in Dubai? I said, yeah, because the person that I buy from, she buys from Dubai. So since I'm going, I might as well buy it there myself. I said, is there a problem with this? They said, no, it's just because it's over 10000 We have to do these things and do that thing and do that thing. I said, okay. I said, I hope the flight is not going to leave me behind. And they say, um, no, unless we tell them we are clear. They are clear. They can't go. Do you know that? When they were finished with me, I said, okay. They counted my money, put it in the envelopes, and then they they told me to sign the form. I said, okay. They said, just make sure this is all your money. I said, yeah, this is all my money. They said, okay. They now said, okay. Uh, meanwhile, the pilot and the lady that dressed like the Arabians from the flight came, and they said, are we good to go? You say, yes, she's good to go. So when I was now walking into the plane, all the walkers in the plane, all the like staff, the hostess and the host, they were all lining and they were clapping for me because I held on that plane for like 30 something minutes. That's why my flight was delayed. They were clapping and then, you know, I had this long dress that I was wearing. So it looked like one royal princess walking and they were like, they were wondering what made these people hold this woman down. <laughs> they were clapping. Even the pilot, all of them were clapping for me. I said, hey, I was waving hand. They were clapping. I said, yeah, you better recognize. You better recognize we got some celebrity in this place. <laughs> oh, my God. They say, so you mean this is ministry that you're doing? I say, yeah. They, they were just asking me things. So you, are you sure it's only ministry? I say, yeah, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> I say, you guys have not seen. When you start to see me with my own private jet, you start to see all these things you understand. I don't know why they think God is broke. My father is not broke. I tell you guys, the lady that I buy the dresses from, those dresses I give you guys, I give you guys 200 dresses, 300. They cost me thousands of dollars. Even the t-shirts. When I took 400 shirts, it cost me thousands of dollars. I spend money to buy these things, to give to people. You understand what I mean? So for sometimes you guys just see us giving. You don't know how much we spent. It's a lot of money. 
That's why you don't see a lot of people doing it because they don't have money like that to give. But I'm blessed and the money that I'm getting, I'm using it to bless you guys back. So the guys, they couldn't understand. They filled out all the paperwork. I said, am I going to get a copy of this? And they said, no, it's okay. But if you go to Dubai, they are custom me. They are custom me. Ask you questions and all that stuff. I said, okay. So while I was in the plane, I prayed. I said, Lord, I don't want to go through this again at the custom. I just want to pass through easily. When I got to Dubai, the custom, they asked me nothing. I just passed through easily. I all breeze through. They check my, I'm a, I'm a U.S. citizen, so I have a blue passport. They check me. Do they do that? Psh, nobody asked me anything. I said, thank you, Jesus. But that was, that was what happened yesterday. But I, I, I feel the presence of God so strong. Like when me and Bishop were in the plane yesterday, the plane was cold, but I was so hot. I felt fire coming from my body, fire coming from where he was sitting. It was so hot. I just knew. I just knew. I just knew. I knew that something, something big is going to happen. Even last night when I was sleeping, because I was so tired because I didn't sleep the day before. I traveled. I, was, I couldn't sleep. And then that day that I traveled, I went around doing errands and stuff. I didn't get to sleep. So I was so tired. I thought I would sleep well in the plane, but I, I did not enjoy that flight for some reason. It felt so long and I wasn't comfortable in that flight. So I did not sleep well in that flight. But guess what? When we got here, the girls were trying to welcome us. They did a great job. We were just tired. We were so tired. When I slept last night, huh, you know, they call pass out sleep. I no wake up till like 7 a.m. this morning. And now I'm so rested. I'm well rested. I'm ready. But God showed me so many things. I, see, I saw myself doing so many deliverance. So many deliverance. I'm like, like he showed me their faces. I already know some of the ladies that I'll be doing deliverance on. Like, so many deliverance. God showed me so many things. I know that God brought me here for a reason because a lot of people apparently are going through so much stuff. And me, you know, we don't just talk. When we come, lives are changed, and you will see it live too. And luckily, they have good internet here, so you guys will not miss anything. The, the place where we're staying is not the same. This is actually an apartment. I got an apartment. Let me show you guys a little bit of this place. It's an apartment um, where... T um, tourist skin rent is close to the to the Dubai mall uh, yes and then I think it's also close to the tallest building in Dubai or something so let me see if I can show you guys a little bit of this apartment hold on okay God bless all of you let me flip my camera this is the um, this is uh, the apartment You see it? I wanted somewhere white, so we Sue looked for a white place that is white for me. I don't know if you guys can see. Is it clear? It's an apartment with a just like somebody's house basically. They have a kitchen. They have a kitchen. Uh huh. Well, I think, let me see. It's just like a. Okay, this is outside my front. So this is like an, it's an apartment complex. Huh? So it's like everybody has their own. They have one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedrooms, four bedroom, whatever you want. And then, wait, it's not done yet. Let me take you to, to my room. Of course, the bathroom nice I'm 
giving you guys a tour now. And then I think my balcony, you can actually go out. Uh oh. I'm trying to open this place. Uh oh, how did they open this place? So, hey. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to open this place. Hey. I don't think I know how to open it again. It was open just now. Did I need a key for this? Uh oh. Let's see. I'm trying to open this balcony here. Because we do have a place to sit there. You see it? I just don't know how to open it. Again. Do you know I slept and I did not know this place was open? I'm trying to open it. Hey. How can you be in a place you don't even know how to open this place? Are you seeing, are you seeing what I'm dealing with here? How did they do this one now? Hey, it don't happen. I don't stop for you. Okay, I, I, I can't come outside too. I guess I've locked, I've locked it and I can't open it again. Because of my nails, I can't even open. Okay. I'm not able to show you guys the balcony, but it's very nice. It's very nice in the balcony. But I'm not able to open it. It was open. I didn't even know I went to sleep with the balcony open. I wanted to show you guys that outside though. It's very nice. Because that outside has that, that building. Hmm. I couldn't open the balcony. Interesting. Interesting. But I'll show you guys more views later. Maybe when the uh, customer service or somebody comes, they'll help us open it. You guys like it? <laughs> the, <laughs> somebody said they like this place. Somebody's asking for the price per night. Oh, you guys are coming there. I don't know the name of this place, so I know that my girl was showing me, was well, she showed me a lot of different places, but I like, I like white. I like, like, now look at this. I like white. I like white walls. I'm a white person, so once it's white, I take it. So the white, the white is what made me, what made me get it. Yeah. So tomorrow is going to be powerful for those of you that are coming. You will you'll be filled with the Holy Ghost. And of course, I came with my bishop. It's even nice I came with my bishop because I had some... I don't know what happened to me in the plane. In the plane, when I slept for a little bit and I woke up, I got my new set of contacts and I wore it. But I, could, I couldn't see. So when we came down from the plane... When we came down from the plane, right? I couldn't see anybody, even with my contacts on. And I was so happy I came with Bishop because I couldn't read the signs. I couldn't see anything. Even when they came to welcome us in the airport, I wasn't seeing. I couldn't see their faces. But once I came into the, the room, I had, thank God, I brought an extra contacts lens. I had to remove that one, new one I wore in the plane and wore the other one. I started to see. I said, oh, my God, I can't see now. So I didn't even really get to see how that hotel, that airport looks. Because, I don't know, I guess those forces, they didn't want me to see something. <laughs> but it is well I can see now. So um, so tomorrow will be powerful. I'm going to go shop. I'm just waiting for the guy to, bring, to come get us so we can go. I'm going to go shop for the kind of dresses that I wear. I didn't bother bringing my clothes because I figured I'm coming to the place where they buy them. So... I don't like shopping really because it's a lot of work, uh, walking and all this. You, you, you get tired, but I'm willing to go. And then um, there's something I wanted to tell you guys. 
And I forgot. Oh, we do have a video that we did from the airport. From the airport. I'm going to release that today. I'll tell my girl to live stream it. We have a video we did from the airport. Let me see. Pastor Isaac went with us to the airport. Can you guys see? Wait, let me see. Hold on, let me see. I was I was gonna release it today. They already finished the video. This is when we're coming. Pastor Isaac followed us to the airport. <laughs> Isaac is so sweet. Pastor Isaac, I didn't know you were watching. You know I love you so much. It's such a cute video. I almost left Bishop. Oh, Bishop came late. I will show the video. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, look at my cousin. Pastor, I miss you so much. <laughs> Pastor, I miss you. Let me see the other one. Very nice video. It was very nice. Let me see. How are you? All right, guys. So we are on our way to the bar. We've checked in. We're running late because we've been shopping. <laughs> show it we're gonna live stream it in a few i'll tell my girl to live stream it so you guys can watch the full thing i just did a video while we're going but when i saw it when they when they sent it to me i was like oh look at my cousin fantastic oh i miss fantastic oh god bless all of you but um really i just came to just tell you guys what's going on um we're gonna go shop and then we'll come we want to rest early so that tomorrow we can come early to the program I am already ready. I, I, I was born ready for this. God is going to move mightily. If you're watching online, make sure you share as you always share. Um, let me see. Um, mm. 
there's, there's this person, what's it called? She keeps posting a lot of those big, big things. I blocked her before on block her, but she's still doing it. I don't know why some people just like to annoy people. <laughs> May God remove that annoying spirit from you in Jesus' name. Amen. But I blocked her again. This time I'm not blocking her anymore. Because some people don't hear. You give them chance to repent. They don't. So they stay in the block list for a while. Just keep posting those big, big things like 10 at a time. Spamming my video. You know what I'm saying? I'm very nice, but don't take advantage of it. You understand? So, so um, I said I was born ready, right? So tomorrow I'm, I'm set. Tuesday I'm set. Wednesday I'm set. We're not going to be in Dubai for long. After the program... One or two days were out of this place. So make sure you come because I don't know when I'm coming back here. Honestly speaking, the flight was so long. When I went to Australia, it was 17 hours, but I didn't feel it. But this Dubai, I felt it. I kept asking Bishop, I said, my God, I don't know if I can. I, I just, I didn't enjoy the flight, even the air in the flight. I didn't really like the air. It was making me sick. It was making Bishop sick. For Australia, I went alone, but I was okay. It felt like it was only five hours. But this one, I thought even going with Bishop would make it the flight easier. But it was just long. So I don't know when I'm coming back here. So you better come more. <laughs> even shopping, self, I'm trying to make contact with people that sell these things here so they can be shipping to me. Because that's a long flight. It's not easy. So make sure you come. This is your time to come. It's not you. So oh, woman, oh, when are you coming to Dubai? I'm here now. You better make sure you come. It's tomorrow, next tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, which is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, February 25th, 26th, and 27th. And as you heard my cousin say in this video um, that I showed you guys, he will be in Florida March 2nd. So if you're in America, you can go to Pastor Isaac. It's time for your miracle. We support each other. We encourage each other. We are one. Eh? We are one. Do you know what happened? Oh, my God. When I was in the plane and I was praying to God, and suddenly, while I was praying, God brought this, um, there's a woman of God that I helped that, you know, I delivered her and I, God used me to celebrate her and she was fighting me, right? I don't know if she's still fighting till now, but I've been praying for this lady. And then in the plane, suddenly, while I was praying, she came, I, like God brought her to my, to me and suddenly he flashed a picture of her singing at my program in Philadelphia where she was singing um, um, praise and worship and this song came oh my god I sang that song for almost two hours in the plane yesterday this song came is it Jesus ebube 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 dike is it Jesus ebube like God just flashed her to me singing that song with the mic just like and I started singing it like I was like I was connecting somehow and then I started to pray for her I don't know what was happening but with God when he brings something to you I started to pray for her I started to cry as I was praying I started to pray I was singing the song I was praying for her I was just praying I started feeling chills I'm telling you, this thing happened for almost one hour, two hours ago. And I was singing the song, Is it Jesus, Ebube? That's not a song that I would normally sing. And then I now told Bishop, and I told Bishop, I say, I don't know what's happening. That, you know, despite everything this woman did, I've been praying for her, and now God just brought her to me to pray to her, for her again. And he's bringing the song that she sang. And Bishop said, he said, the things of God, sometimes we can't really understand the way he works. If he's bringing it to me, I should just do it. That one day she'll come and ask for forgiveness because you haven't really done anything to her. I see, I see, funny thing is, I don't have any bad feelings towards her. Like, I'm not mad at her. I'm just disappointed, but I don't hate her or anything. I actually feel sorry for her. Like, I don't, like, I'm not mad. Like, there's no anger here. I'm just feeling for her. Like, I'm feeling for her because... We've checked and she's a servant of God, just being under some kind of manipulations and stuff. And for God to bring her to me in the plane, 
I saw her singing the song. I was hearing the song. I started singing it. I started praying and I was crying and I was praying and I felt the anointing so strong that I had to tell Bishop because he saw me. I was crying. I was wiping my face. I was crying. I was wiping. He knows that I cry a lot when I pray. And he said, it's okay. Just keep praying for her. That One day she'll come and apologize. But the things of God are not, the, the way God does things is not the way man does things. That I should just go as I'm led by the Spirit. So I was like, man, I'm sitting here praying for this one. And tomorrow, she's probably on her video cussing me out. This world is so wicked. Like you're trying to be like Jesus. You're trying to do what God wants you to do. You are here even when you're supposed to be praying for your program. You spend time praying for the one that is, that is, oh my God, thank you, Father. I love you so much. The one that is trying to, as I'm talking, I know what the Holy Spirit just told me. Hi, my God, they cut up as Shanta. See, it's good to have the Spirit of God in you. You understand? It's good to have the Spirit of God in you. Not, you're not going to be doing things to please man, but to please God. As I'm saying now, the Holy Spirit just brought me to this scripture. Uh, Matthew 5, verse 44. Let's read Matthew 5, verse 44. Matthew 5, verse 44. Thank you, As I'm talking now, you just brought it to me. Matthew 5, 34 and 44. Wow. You know, sometimes we read the scripture. When it actually happens, that's when our faith is being tested. Right? Actually, I'm going to start reading from verse 43. Somebody posted for me. I'm reading from King James Version. It says, Ye have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy, right? Jesus Christ is talking. So you have heard that it had been said that you should love your neighbor and hate your enemy. Ye have heard that it had been said that thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, he said, that's what you have heard. But I am telling you now, this is Jesus talking. He said, but I say unto you, but I say unto you, love your neighbors. Bless them that curse, I'm sorry, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. As I'm talking now, the Spirit of God just took me to that scripture. That that's exactly what I did in that plane. And the funny thing is, I've been praying for her, but... These days when my cousin is doing a deliverance, you will hear the demon saying your cousin is praying for her. Why is your cousin praying for her when she's trying to destroy your cousin? Like, I just, I don't know. I'm just, there's a spirit in me that is just full of love. Like, you know, like these scriptures, when we read them, it's so easy to read them. But when that thing is happening to us, that's when we really need to apply these scriptures I'm telling you, it's easy when it's not happening to you. you. Read it. You say, so, okay, yeah. So you're supposed to love your enemies. You bless those people that are cursing you. You know, you do good to them that hate you. You pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Pray for them which despitefully, they use you. They persecute you, meaning they are trying to destroy you. He says, pray for them. Ha. Ah, Jesus. Ah, yeah, yeah. Normally, your flesh will want to destroy them. Normally, the, the you, the, 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 the sinful you, would want to fight back, would want to call them names. I've never called her any name. When I narrated the story, it was good for narration, so people will know what happened. And I said that she let the devil stay in her house. But I never called her any name. But it does look like she used me. She was ungrateful and all that. But I'm still praying for her. I said yesterday, it was so much that I told Bishop. I was crying and I had that my, my scarf. I was just cough, using it to clean my face. I was praying and crying. And I'm like, I should be praying for my program. But I'm here in this plane crying and praying for a lady that is seriously trying to destroy me and my ministry. Like... And I've not done anything bad to her. And as I'm telling you guys this, the Spirit of God is bringing this scripture to me. He said, this is this scripture happening in real life. It's not just reading this word. It's keeping the word. It's doing what the word says. The doing part is usually very hard. 
The reading part, the hearing part is easy, but the doing part is very hard. When you find yourself doing it, it means you truly have the spirit of God in you. You understand? And this is, this, I'm telling you, is it? <laughs> Wait, I want to come. I, I'm going to go. I'm going to continue reading verse 45. Is it? Is it? Or 44. Let me read against it. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. That ye may be children of your father. Hey, that ye may be children of your father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good and sendeth rain on the just and the un, on, the, on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans do the same. If you only love people will love you. What reward are you going to get from that? He said, even the publicans, the sinners do that. They love those that love them and they hate those that hate them. But you are not like them. You are different. You are supposed to be like your father in heaven, right? And then 47 said, and if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans do so. But verse 48 says, be ye therefore perfect. Even as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect. God wants us to be perfect like him. God gives rain to the good and the evil. God gives sun to the good and the evil. God takes care of both good and bad people. Because even when we were not saved, when we were still in the world, when we hated God, ha, rekata yarabas. God was telling me something. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. My God. He was telling me of how he still took care of me even when I hated him. He was telling me that last night. He said when I hated him, when I didn't love him, when I refused to live for him, he still protected me. He still took care of me. He, he still loved me. He doesn't just love us only when we love him. Even when we don't love him, when we're running from him, when we are rebelling, when we hate him, he still has love for us. He still prevents us from having that accident, from getting hurt. And even then we don't love him, but he still, you think it was now that you repented that God started taking care of you? No, before you repented, God has been taking care of you. He's been coming through for, for you. He gave you jobs. He blessed you with a husband, with a beautiful home and family. Even then, you were not even praying. He wants us to be perfect, just like him. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Ah. God wants people that will not just read the scriptures. People that will leave the scriptures. As hard as it may seem, people that are willing to leave, to keep his commandments, to do what it says, not just hearers, but also doers of this word. Not just hearers, but also doers. And me, I want to please God. I don't want to please man. So sometimes man may expect you to act a certain way, but I don't care. I just want to do what God wants me to do. I want to be perfect like him. I want to be perfect like my heavenly father. So if you're, if you're watching this, I want you to be perfect like him. Walk towards perfection. Do what... We should be doers of his word, not just hearers. We should do what he tells us to do. Not just preaching it, not just hearing it, not just reading it. But we should do it. We should leave it. 
When people see you, they, they need to see Jesus in you. You have to represent him well here. The devil expects you to, to be wicked like the bad ones. He wants you to be mean like them. He wants you to be, to be wicked like them. But you show love. You show love. Because you're trying to be perfect like your father in heaven. So when your father is leading you to pray for that one that has persecuted you, that one that has despitefully used you, that one that has cursed you, follow that leading and pray. He's a God of justice. He's the one that will decide how he wants things to turn out. But don't be influenced by people or by what somebody is telling you to do. You do what the Spirit of God is leading you to do. And God will fight for you. God will take care of the situation for you. But if he says pray for them, pray. If he says love your enemies, you love them. Oh, I love you, Father. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Sorry, guys. <laughs> then I was going to cry. Oh, my God. I got to go, man. <laughs> ah. Oh, Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I feel the presence of God so strong in this place. My God, I'm telling you, if you're coming to the program, you better be ready for the Holy Ghost encounter because it's going to be so powerful. It's going to be so powerful. God keeps reminding me of the day that... Oh, my God, look at my nose. Let me clean my nose. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. Oh, God. I feel so good. God keeps reminding me. There was one day I did a program. I think it was in Atlanta or somewhere. At around 5 or 6 in the morning. I was laying in the bed. And suddenly I started feeling the presence of God. Like electric shock coming from my head to my toe. And then I, I became cold. I, I covered the comforter. And I was feeling it like vroom. Like current passing through my body. And he said, if only you know the power that I've given you. If only you know the... So every time lately, when I'm praying, he will remind me, if only you know the power that I've given you. He's like, I carry the presence of God. He has given me so much power. And I'm, I'm not here to show off power or anything. I want to free God's children. But I'm also here to preach to you about love, loving God, loving people. To preach to you about living for God. Look at... Look at Look at me. I told you guys a story a few days ago. I can't open my eyes. The presence is so strong. I told you guys a few days ago of how I went to Nigeria before I repented with $20 only in my purse because I had no money. I was living on people taking care of me and all that. But now look at me coming to Dubai. I'm coming to Dubai how many years later? Living for God, doing what God wants me to do. And the, the security people, the police people are stopping me for almost an hour, questioning me. Why do I have so much money on me? What am I going to do with it? There was a time I traveled that I only had $20 and I didn't even know God or love God then. Now I'm doing what God wants me to do and they're questioning me. I said, oh, I'm going to shop. And they're amazed. They're like, how? How is she? Sh how are you shopping? With, 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 you say you're a preacher. I'm like, yeah. I'm a preacher, I'm an evangelist, I'm actually going for a program, and I will shop, coming back, you know. My life has changed. Doing what I'm called to do, with the help of God in heaven, with the help of the Holy Spirit, and still living a comfortable life. Still not, I'm not begging, I'm not borrowing, I'm not suffering. Look at, you know how much it costs me to be here? You know how much it costs to put the program together? I didn't ask them to give money. They didn't contribute money for the program. It is my money that I'm using to do it. This is the God that I serve. This is the God that I know. So I don't know which God they're telling you guys of. But my God, if I do everything, if I leave to please him. See, if I seek him first and I leave like to please him, live righteously. He says, all these things that I need to do what I need to do in this world, it shall be, it, it will be, it will give them to me. It will add them. It will give them to me. So I'm doing the first part. I'm seeking him. I'm living to, to please him. So now he is adding everything I need 
to me is giving me what I need to do what he's calling me to do so I don't I don't know this is this is the God that I know and this is the God that I preach to people this is the God that I'm bringing people to when you do what you have to do he will do what he has to do and the scripture will be fulfilled in your life Matthew 6 33 let me go and read that one before I leave some people expect you that when you are like when you are saved you you start to suffer or something no my God is not broke my God is rich my God can give me a mansion if I want one or if I need if I need one now. But I don't even really need a mansion because I have mansion waiting for me in heaven. But if I do need it for something while I'm here, I will get it. He's not broke. But he expects me to do some things too. Oh, I like this song. He is mighty to say. Hey of salvation I put it on YouTube I put it on YouTube <laughs> yeah I put it on YouTube so they are playing worship song non-stop Savior he can move the mountain my God is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Hey! 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 I'm all charged up by radio. I'm telling you guys. I'm so happy. I want to read this scripture before I leave. Matthew 6.33 Matthew 6.33 It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you hey my God my God my God my God let me look at this a little bit more let me read it in another translation the NLT translation said seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Hi. He will give you everything you need. Just like I told you guys. He will give you everything you need. He has given me everything I need to do what he wants me to do. I'm coming to Dubai. I'm doing this. I see I want to shop. Most of the things I'm buying are the long dresses that I want to give to people. Or the, long, the dresses that I wear for program. It's cheaper here. I'll save money buying a lot that will last me for a while. So I don't keep spending more money getting it when I'm coming here. But he has given me everything I need for this trip. I don't have to worry. I don't have to borrow. I don't have to think about how I'm going to do it. Because I've done the first and the second part. Which is to seek him first. And to live righteously. So if you do this part. He will give you everything you need. This scripture. In fact everybody go and memorize this scripture. Let me read in King James first again. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. And else he says, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. And it will give you everything you need. See, let me read it in ERV. What you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what he wants you to do. Hey, he says, doing what God wants you to do. Then he will give you all these other things you need. He says, doing what he wants you to do ask yourself are you doing what god wants you to do and then he says he will give you all these other things you need hey my god so if i want to get all these other things i just need to seek the kingdom of god and i need to live righteously and just do what he wants me to do and i expect him to do his part give me what i need the scripture will apply in your life these scriptures are very powerful. Let's not just read them. Let's apply them to our lives. Let's, let's do what it says and wait and see what, if God will not do what he says. God does not lie. He keeps to his promises. He keeps to his word. The Bible is not just for reading purposes. It's powerful. It says, take therefore no thought for the morrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. NLT translation says, So don't worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. God will give us our daily bread. God will take care of us daily. 
We don't have to sit and worry about anything. Especially if we are seeking him first and living righteously. He'll give us what we need. If he gave us what we need today to survive. You better believe that tomorrow he's also going to give us what we need to survive. So we're not going to sit down here worrying about what will happen tomorrow. How will tomorrow be taken care of? No, 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 no. We are doing our part. So we expect him to take care of us tomorrow as well. He will give us our daily bread. It's a daily thing. Oh, you bet you better be you better be sure that he's going to take care of you tomorrow as long as you're doing what you need to do you're doing what he tells you to do he'll take care of you even if they fire you at your job so maybe God doesn't want you there but you better believe by by tomorrow he's going to give you a better job that's right you won't have to worry I love you guys if you let me I'll stop preaching see I've, I've already started um, crying and all that stuff don't worry, I have all this preaching tomorrow as the Spirit leads me. One thing about me, I never um, plan to preach anything. Oh, I want to show you guys something. You see this screen that is showing? Look at this TV screen, right? Are you guys seeing that screen? Look at that screen very well. Do you see those little balls? Do you see those little balls that are flying in the screen? There was one day I entered my room, and in my room, the, the window had a little crack in the blind. And the sun was shining into it. And just like the sun is shining into it, I started seeing little balls like that fly into my room. Different colors. There were so many. And I started playing, putting my hand through it. It was just a lot. But I don't know why I did not take a picture or do a video. I was amazed when I saw it. A bunch of different colors came in. From like the little light crack. I told you guys in my video. I saw different colors of little balls like that in my room. There were so many, I was putting my hand through it. Normally, I would want to do a live video, take a picture, but that thought left me. And then it was after it happened, I was like, why didn't I do a video? So as I'm looking at it now, I'm just seeing. It was so many of them. So many in my room. They were coming from outside the window. They were just little, but mine were so colorful, different colors. So many, little, 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 so many. Hmm. As I saw that, I was just remembering it. But it is well. You will have so many encounters with God. Like you see this, my hair. Let me tell you guys what happened. My hair has been short for over, over since my son was one year old. Yeah, I've cut my hair for almost 10 years. So Because I don't like stress. I don't like braiding. It's painful. And I wear wigs a lot. So I'll just cut my hair short. I don't do nothing to it. But Bishop always says that I, he doesn't like when I cut hair because I look like, it makes me look like a man or whatever. He's always making fun of me, Pastor Isaac, my mother, they all know, they laugh. But guess what? I was planning to cut it again because I've, I cut it every three months or every two months when it starts to grow. And then I did a video four days ago telling you guys of how God speaks to us through dreams. He will send an angel to your dream and, you know... And then that's what happened with Joseph, you know, the, the Mary's husband. When he wanted to let Mary go because she was pregnant, you know, and he had not touched her. And an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream that he should not do that, right? Like he should not let her go, that the child is of the Holy Ghost. And then an angel also appeared to him telling him to take the mother and the son to, to Egypt, that uh, this guy, Herod, wants to kill the baby. So I was teaching you guys. I think it was, was it an audio I did? I think it was an audio I did. You guys need to go watch that. Go, how many of you watched that audio? I called it dream, prayer for dream restoration or something. Let me see if I can find it. And I will, sh let me see if I can find it. How many of you remember that audio? This was a few days ago. Powerful audio. Right. I'm looking for it. I have so many things on my page. Uh, uh, did I not just do this the other day? It's not there anymore. Oh my God. Does anyone remember it? Where, Sue, where are you? I can't find it. Was it not just four days ago I did it? I want to share it for those that did not watch it or listen to it. You have to go listen to it. It's powerful. Okay, I'm looking for it. 
can't even find it. Wait, so I can't find it. Where is it? Hmm. Wait, so I can't find it. I hope Facebook did not delete my stuff. Oh. Hmm. I can't find it. Facebook has been deleting a bunch of my stuff lately, so we'll see. If anyone sees it, they should, they should, um, they should send me the link. I really can't find it too. Hey, I just did it a few days ago. So after I did that audio, I prayed for you guys for your, um, it was, I think it was a day before I did the one with the financial breakthrough. Okay, I think it's there. We still found it. Okay, it's actually a video that I did. Let me share it. I'll share it again for those that did not see it. I just shared it again now. I just shared it again on my wall. Is this one? It was an audio. It was a video. It says prayer for direction and dream restoration. I found it. I found it. So guess what? So, after I did it, I was, Pastor Isaac now came down and said, I was now telling him, I said, man, God is using me to preach all these powerful messages. That that one was so powerful that I want to go listen to it. So, Pastor Isaac said he too would like to listen to it. So, we listened to the last 30 minutes of that video. That's where I started talking about dream restoration. And then I, I told them to put their right hand on their forehead. And I prayed for them that an angel of the Lord will visit them and give them direction in their dream, you know, and those that don't dream, their dreams will be restored. So Pastor Isaac and I, we sat down and we listened to the audio and to the video and we put our hand on our head. Me, I know the power that God has given me. So when I preach, I know it's not really me. So I always go back and get blessed. So we sat down there in the living room and we got the prayer. Do you know that night an angel came to my room because I was trying to see if the next day I should go cut my hair before coming to Dubai because it was getting longer and I have a lot of gray hair. You know, I didn't really like the way. An angel came into my room after that prayer and he worked, he put relaxer on my hair. He put relaxer on my hair. He fixed my hair and then he now put some white gel kind of stuff on my hair and put like a band around my hair. And I was looking good and I liked the hair. I was like, so when I woke up, I said, Father, thank you for giving me so this direction not to go cut my hair. Because I was going to go cut it today. You want me to put relaxer and just do something to it and don't cut it anymore. But he sent an angel right after I tapped into that prayer. And Pastor Isaac also came to my room to tell me his own dream. He had an encounter too. So we that we preach this message, when we tap into our messages and we believe, it works for us too. So the next day, I was like, I told my mother, I said, I'm going to buy, do relax. And my mom bought me relaxer. So when I was coming to Houston, my mom put the chemical on my hair. And that's why you see my hair is looking all soft and real, real, looking like I put, because I didn't have chemical on it before. I was going to go cut it the next day. But when we tap into that prayer, I just shared that video. You guys should see, don't play with my videos. Though. I don't even play with my videos. Me, that is the one preaching. Not to talk of you. Even Pastor Isaac don't play with my videos. <laughs> if I'm blessing water for you guys, Pastor Isaac too gets water and he drinks. Even me, I get water and I drink. So when you're watching it, don't see me, oh, is it not the woman of God? No, it's not the woman of God. It's the Holy Spirit speaking through the woman of God. So go ahead, watch, the, watch that video. Even the one with the financial breakthrough. I've had so many testimonies. Even in the plane, people were sending testimonies. Money is just coming. Some of them only gave $5 offering, $2, $1 offering. One woman gave how much offering? She said she only had, is it $5 or $3? The next morning, her tax refund of 9000 came. And she said she was worried because it's taking some time or something. Or she wasn't sure if she would get it or whatever. She now sent 300 or, or 600 again, thanking God for it. She said she did not know how she would pay her bills. All her bills were late. And then somebody else said her husband came home with $2,000 that they were not expected. Somebody else said that they had miracle money in their account. People are just... So when you watch those videos, don't say, oh, these people have come again. Believe it. Believe. You have nothing to lose. I'm telling you. 
And so much to gain. I'm telling you, believe. Even me, I believe. And I'm the preacher. Even tomorrow now, as we're doing the program, if you want to dress up in your house, dress up and act like you are there with us. You have to connect with every prayer, every worship, everything that happens, and you will feel exactly what they are feeling in the hall. Don't just say, well, they've come again with their program. <laughs> My dear, God is really blessing you, bringing us on social media like this. is blessing you so you don't have to leave your house at the comfort of your home. You can still feel the presence of God so strong. You can still feel it like you are there. And your life will change. So go and watch that thing I just shared. Even the one with financial breakthrough. If you did not watch it before, scroll down and watch it. They're all on my page. So you can be blessed. I'm going to, um, I talked about water. So I'm going to bless water before I go. Get your bottle of water or cup of water. Let me bless it and go. They've been knocking on my door. I think they are ready to come pick me to the to the mall <laughs> sorry guys you know i came online to be brief and i started crying suddenly i said it you know this is how it is when you're filled with the holy ghost you never know what god wants you to do get your water let me bless it real quick share this video if you can if you have any family member or friend in dubai tell them to come it's a free program we're not charging tell them to come and be blessed anyone that needs healing deliverance or that needs to love god or that needs a fresh fire or something Get your water. Get your water. Thank you, Father. I love you so much. Oh my God. Get your water. Get your water. I have mine. So that I'll bless it. And if you're sick or if you need cleansing or if you need healing or if you need a breakthrough or whatever it is, as long as you believe, it will work. Open it. I'm ready to pray for it. You see, I have water too. Do you have it? Okay, good. So now... Raise it up. Close your eyes. If it's cup, it's already open. If it's bottle, like I open mine, you open yours too. If you miss it when I'm done, you can rewind and go back. Or if you, every time you have water you want to bless, you can always rewind and go back. I also have a three minutes audio for water blessing only. Go ahead. Open your water. I want to pray for it. Close your eyes. Father Lord, I command everybody's water, including mine, to turn into the blood of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus. I anoint it in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I release the fire, the grace, the power upon my life into their water in the name of Jesus. As you drink this water, you shall be healed, you shall be restored, you shall be delivered, you shall be free in the name of Jesus. As you drink this water, you shall testify in the name of Jesus. As you drink this water, all your gifts that the enemy stole will be restored. Your eyes will be open. Your ears will open. You will receive supernatural breakthrough, peace, and favor from heaven in the name of Jesus. As you drink this water, your life will never be the same. You will begin to love God. You will begin to be on fire for God in the name of Jesus. You will be filled with the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. This is no longer an ordinary water. It is now the blood of Jesus. Drink it and begin to testify to the glory of God. In Jesus' name, amen. I don't know, I felt a strong anointing when I was praying for the water. But God bless all of you. I love you. Now you've seen my hair. I'm going to wear my wig when I'm going out though. I just wanted you guys to see it. I just, my mom relaxed it for me. I just rubbed something on it today. So that's why it's looking somehow. But don't worry. In time, we're going to work on it and do some more things to it. But for now, this is what you're saying. I just want, I don't even have makeup on, no. <laughs> I look at how fine I'm looking. No makeup, no nothing. Fine girl, no pimple. I don't have makeup on. I don't really like makeup. Only when I'm probably going to the program. Even when in the program. Do you know I don't wear foundation? Only time I wear foundation is when I'm doing a program and I have a makeup specialist and she comes to make me up. Even that, I don't like it because it's so much. I'm like, can't you guys make it a little less? It's too much makeup. They say, no, this is how you do it so it will be fine. Left to me only, this is how I like my face. I'm not saying makeup is bad, but I just don't like makeup like that. I like lipstick, red, pink, whatever, purple. But powder and stuff, I'm not such a... And then my eyebrow, I don't have to put anything if I don't want to. And my face is smooth because I don't wear so much makeup. Makeup, sometimes when you wear too much and you don't take care of your face, you start having like bumps and stuff on your face. So women... Try to keep your natural face. Let it breathe sometimes, okay? Let your husband see your real face so that 
<laughs> he will not be wondering who is that person when you remove your makeup god bless you i love you guys i'll see you again soon maybe i'll do another video at the mall i'm not sure but otherwise we'll see you tomorrow tomorrow the program is 11 and dubai is 10 hours away from us 10 hours ahead of us in houston so 11 o'clock in the morning in dubai tomorrow will be 1 a.m in houston at night 1 a.m my god so a lot of you may be sleeping when we start the program shy it will be so late it will be like midnight 1 a.m for you guys so if you miss that's fine you can always catch up but if wow the time difference <laughs> the ones in africa i think it will work for you guys but the ones in america you will be sleeping when we start but as well god is our strength it is well with all of you i'll see you guys love you bye bye